Welcome to P. Clark Calc, Practical Calculus for the Busy Math Student. Here we're going to take a look at a business calculus application integrating marginal functions to find particular solutions for business functions. Here's an important business calculus application of particular solution antiderivatives and that is integrating marginal functions in business to obtain the original functions. So here, just quick reminder that if we take the, the marginal profit MP of X here is the derivative of the profit, the instantaneous rate of change of the profit. So if we turn that around and we take the antiderivative or the integral of the marginal profit, we obtain the profit function. And we see similar definitions for when we integrate marginal revenue, we obtain revenue. And when we integrate marginal cost, we obtain a cost function. There's a slight problem with this though. If we take a look at our example, we have here marginal cost function 21x to the 4 thirds minus 6x to the 1 half plus 50. So by, by this definition, our cost function is going to be the integral of this. So we integrate our function. Don't forget your dx differential here. And then we, we can do this by power rule, a little bit careful. We have some rational exponents, so we might want to not do too much at once here. So by constant multiple rule, we'll just say 21 times x to the n plus 1 here is 7 thirds. And then remember, when you have a rational exponent, the best way to do this is to multiply by the reciprocal of that rational exponent. So 3 sevenths x to the 7 thirds. And then in a similar way here, we have 6 times x to the 3 halves, and that's going to be multiplied by 2 thirds. Then we have a constant rule, plus 50x. And then we have the arbitrary constant at the end. Usually we use c to represent the arbitrary constant, but in a cost function, capital C means cost. So usually we change the label. There's nothing magic about the letter c. So here we're going to use k to represent the arbitrary constant. So if we clean that up, we get a cost function, but it's a general form of a cost function. You know, 6x to the 7 thirds minus 4x to the 3 halves plus 50x plus k. So if you're running a business and you're trying to figure out and get a handle on your cost function, it's very, very difficult to do that when you look at it and at the end there's this big dangling question mark that we call the arbitrary constant plus k. So in order to solve any real problems with with an antiderivative, we really need a particular solution case. We need to have an initial value and in the case of the, the cost function, we very often know the value of a function when x is zero. And in the case of cost, this is what we call a fixed cost. So if you see the term fixed cost, given in the problem, that's the cost of producing no items. So, so that gives us the ordered pair, 0, 3,000. And when I plug that into my general form, then I can get my particular solution, my one, my one cost function. It's going to let me be able to actually come up with a budget and make decisions and so on. So here, it's nice when you know x equals 0, because all these terms are just going to go to 0. And we figure out that our arbitrary constant k value is, in fact, the fixed cost of 3,000. So all we have to do now is just copy the function again with that known constant term. And know that if I have to make a decision now, I can go confidently with the function 6x to the 7 thirds minus 4x to the 3 halves plus 50x plus 3,000. So anytime you need to use an antiderivative to actually solve a real problem, start looking around. There has to be one value on that antiderivative function that's known. In this case, it was our fixed cost, 0 0.0, 3,000. Because if you don't have that, you, you can't get beyond the general solution, which means you can't solve any particular questions that might, that might occur with this antiderivative. So there it is. That's the, that's the uh, marginal integration. We're just kind of reversing what we did earlier when we took derivatives of profit, revenue, or cost. We're just, just running the game backwards 
to obtain the original function from the marginal by integrating. If you'd like to learn more about the calculus of business functions or calculus in general, you can find my textbooks on Amazon, available for a nice price. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you liked it. And until next time, I'm P. Clark.